<laughs> Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming by the channel today. Happy New Year. 2021 is here, and I am just so pumped for all the projects that are on the go here right now. I got quite a few trucks uh, going through this shop. So today we are going to be taking a peek at a brand new T800 extended day cab, but I know day cabs on the channel don't get viewed as much, but this one is worth sticking around for. It's, I would have to say, the nicest T800 day cab that I've been a part of on the project. So before we go outside, uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to Don Caitler and Gerald Klippenstein and in the shop here who did a pile of work on this truck. Uh, it turned out really good. So nice work there, boys. Let's uh, roll that intro and I'll see you on the truck. All right, so here we are at the truck. It is a beautiful gray day. The colors are flat, but uh, the truck is looking great. I wish it was a little bit shinier, a little bit uh, sunnier, I mean, because this paint just pops. It is such a really nice color. Uh, I'd almost say it beats the legendary red that I've been doing a lot of these days. So uh, let's take a look at the truck and I'll show you what it's all about. All right, so this is a 2021 uh, T800 extended day cab. It's set up with a 198 inch wheelbase. And uh, we did quite a few options to it. Like I said, uh, Don and, and uh, Gerald in the back there, uh, who are our custom guys who do a lot of custom work for us, they uh, installed quite a few things. So let me point those out to you here. Uh, we did the bug deflector, the stainless drop visor. We also did the uh, air cleaner lights on the front as well as on the back. And then we did the cab lights underneath here. And those are uh, TRP lights. So those are basically the Packard, the Packard brand lights that, uh, that Kenworth sells. Uh, we have an aluminum polished bumper on the front, which is a nice uh, thing. It won't ever rust. You do have to repolish it kind of like tanks and wheels, but uh, you can get a nice bright finish on it. As far as the front axle goes, it is a 13,200 pound uh, front axle. And as you can see through here, she's got the disc brakes on it as well. Uh, those are the Alcoa rims and those are Durabrites. You got the black, the black sticker on there. Now I put the 13 inch air cleaners on the outside. You can get the 15 inch air cleaners on the T800. Personally, I don't like to do the 15 inch. I think it looks a little clumsy, <coughs> a little big on the side of the truck. Hey, you know what's weird? Every single time I'm doing a video, I'm coughing. I don't know why, but uh, it's all the talking that I do all day long. And uh, it's not that I have COVID, just telling you. And speaking of COVID, isn't my hair 
my hair is out of control. It's just ridiculous. Uh, we've gone in, we're two months into a full lockdown. Restaurants are not open for sit down. You can't go get a haircut. Gyms are closed. So I can't get a haircut. It's pretty obvious. Uh, I can't go out for dinner and I can't go to the gym. But anyways, enough about that, more about the truck. So with this truck here, is the camera still rolling? Yeah, it is, okay. I can't tell with my new, uh, my new setup here that I got. But anyhow, uh, okay, back to this here with the air cleaners. Like I say, 13 inch air cleaners look really sharp on a T800, I love it. You do get a split fender when you order the air cleaners on the outside. So this fender is like this. And the reason why you had the full fender, it would hit the underside of that air breather. So that's what we do there. Uh, we did the dual exhaust with the seven inch tailpipes up top. It was our 48 inch tall pipes, I believe. And then here you can see the little extended cab. So that's a little bump. And you can see that little rubber. That is the same as those trucks. Oh, you're not allowed to see that truck yet. <laughs> Anyways, on the back here, we have your battery box right in here. This is the diamond plate with the painted ends. And we did the polished fuel tanks with the seven inch wide straps, which is a must. We have the polished straps and the black def tank right there. <coughs> Goodyear tires, G182s. Uh, we got the Kenworth four bag AG400L suspension. And then we did the black plastic fenders, the full tub fenders on both axles, just to keep things nice and clean. You can see if I didn't have those on here, driving back from Rob at the cleanup, that would have been all over the back of the cab. This keeps things nice and tidy. Like I said, 198 inch wheelbase, 52 inch axle spread here. And we have a 24 inch sliding fifth wheel with an eight inch ride height on there. What I really like here, this is a factory option. I haven't done a lot of trucks with it, but uh, uh, I think the last time I did this was on a black W990 I sold to Brent Lockwood way back in the day. So Brent, if you're watching, thanks for uh, putting those on because it made me remember. Uh, so this one here, those are the mud flap hangers with the lights in it. Those are LED and then you also get the uh, LED tail lights right there. We also added on this here. So that's a Gerald and Dawn thing. And uh, there's your differentials. And we also have disc brakes on the back. So disc brakes all the way around on this beast. Just lovely. Isn't this one of the nicest day cabs that I've ever featured on here? I would say it is the nicest. Uh, looks fantastic. We have this the larger fuel tank on this side, 120 gallons. And again, polished aluminum with the seven inch straps. So let me open up the hood here. I'll show you what we got going on. So question for you. This is probably the longest I've ever let my hair grow. Should I grow it out? Like go for a mullet? Like totally bring back the eighties, like mullets and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, I think I might. It's just wild and crazy. Okay, we got the Cummins X15. This is a 485 X15, and I forget what I put on here for torque, but I will just take a quick peek up here and see, 1650 torque. So this truck basically is running between, uh, in Winnipeg, Manitoba area, a regional haul truck hauling general freight, uh, courier business essentially. Uh, so it don't need a lot of power. It's just on the flatlands and not going very far throughout the day. Uh, like I said, a 13.2 front axle, and there's the disc brakes made by Bendix. Uh, nice clean side of the frame here. We got the Pacar heated fuel water separator right there. There's the air fill to fill up the air on the truck if you're wanting to quickly air it up. And I just got grease all over my new Christmas gloves. Wonderful. Andrea is going to shoot me. Okay, that's fine. We'll clean those later. Uh, all right, go around the other side, show you around there. Hot side here, we got the turbo and uh, HVAC system is mounted up there. 
You can also add on that additional filter right there that's chrome. Uh, that's a nice option to put on there. So uh, let's close up the hood, clean my gloves off and uh, show you what's inside. Some of the things that I didn't mention uh, outside on the truck here, uh, as far as the rear ends go, we have 370 gearing. Uh, the truck weight right there is 7,652 kilograms. And uh, the, like I said, the DSP 40s on the back end. So that's your regular 40,000 pound rear ends. Uh, we ordered it with the high back leather air cushion premium plus seat. So same seat that was in that W900 I featured last week, Apache. And uh, we have the additional lumbar supports and they are also heated. Uh, we did the rubber floor throughout. And a big thank you to Rob at Big Truck Detail. Thank you for cleaning this truck. Looks fantastic. Nicely done. Now, I don't know if you noticed that. I just went to try and close the door here. You can't, I don't know if you can hear that, but I can. It's actually popping my ears. Our cabs are airtight. You have to slam that door to really get that nice tight, tight uh, finish on it. Okay. Tight finish, tight close. I'm just talking, uh, talking weird right now. Anyways, what we got down here, we have the power windows. The wi mirrors are fixed, but they are heated. So those are non-motorized. But the nice thing with the Kenworth, our mirrors are not mounted to the door. They're mounted to the cab. So they're actually sitting forward and they don't adjust when you open and close the door. So once they're in position, you never have to adjust them again. Uh, down below here, we have the marker light for the back of the cab. So that's basically to light up the, the deck plate. And then up above, there's your interior lights and then your engine fan, a spare switch, the standard gauges. And then we did the full gauge package all the way across here, as you can see. Uh, as far as the options down here, there's the spare switches, auxiliary switches for the cab and air cleaner lights, uh, air suspension, uh, fifth wheel air slide, I mean. Uh, jake brakes, cruise, and your air suspension dump, and full four-way locking differential is on there as well. Uh, passenger seat is a vinyl black seat, so if you're ordering uh, a vinyl seat with a leather seat, you can get them very, very close. Uh, so they're basically both black, and this is on a toolbox. Just wanted to have a little bit of storage. With a day cab, your storage is quite limited, so uh, nice thing to put that in there. We also have this aluminum uh, record holder to keep uh, any sort of paperwork that you need. And I also did a plastic record holder on the back here. Now down below here, as you can see, there is a storage pocket uh, down below and then you have options for other things in there. Oh yeah, I was looking for where the uh, floor mats were. There they are, found them. Now the interior is the black uh, diamond VIT, which is really cool to see in a day cab. Uh, a lot of times when guys are building day cabs, it's all about uh, keeping it budget friendly. Uh, this one here, we went all out and did the whole the whole nine yards. So lovely. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit about the interior tour. I don't know if my hair is looking good or not. It, you know, what? I don't even care. This is all about truck videos and not about my my hair. So uh, that's it for me. That's it for today's video. Uh, Big thank you to Albert from Straight A Transfer for purchasing this truck, uh, custom ordering it with me. We were sitting down at a restaurant and picking the options line by line. So we built a nice one. And again, a big thank you to the guys in our shop here who uh, assisted with putting everything together, doing the PDI. Thank you to everybody at the factory for building this truck down in Mexicali, Mexico and uh, to the driveway company who drove it all the way up from, uh, from Mexico. So this is uh, a great project. Thanks for uh, sticking around and watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. Just click that button down below. And if you wanna also check out what we have for sale uh, or reach out to me to have me custom order a truck for you, click up here, go to thekenworthguy.com. You can see what's, uh, what we can do there. So that's it for now. We will see you on the next video and have yourself the world's best day. I gotta go clean grease off of my gloves now, so we'll see you later.